Hello everyone and welcome back to Villainous. Today we are playing Jafar. We have the Fate Pile Shuffled. We got the Villain Pile Shuffled. We got 20 rounds to win. Uh, we have our Fate Die here where we will be faded on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 for 40% chance of being faded. It's a 10-sided die. And Jafar wins by starting his turn with the Magic Lamp at Sultan's Palace and the Genie under his control. Alright, so let's begin. We'll start by drawing uh, four cards. <clears throat> Alright, so we have uh, Manipulation. It's a condition card, and uh, the way I treat condition cards in solo mode is I have to meet the condition, and if I meet it, I can play the condition card as a free uh, card action. So, uh, manipulation, during their turn, if another player has three or more allies in their realm, you may play manipulation. Take any card from your discard pile and put it into your hand. <clears throat> Scrying is an effect, uh, costs one to play. Uh, choose either item or ally. Reveal cards from your deck until you reveal a card of that type. Put that card into your hand, discard the rest. Got two of those. And lastly, we have uh, Palace Guard, uh, ally, cost one to play, with two strength and no additional ability. Okay. So what we'll do, oh, and I forgot, he starts with a lock on his uh, rightmost location. So let me do that. Okay. So, uh, what we'll do is we're going to go to the Oasis, we're going to get uh, 3 power, and we'll spend uh, 1 power to scry, and we're going to choose item. So we're going to reveal cards from our deck until we reveal uh, an item. And then we put that into our hand and discard the rest. Okay, so that was it for that. And uh, we can play two cards here, so we're going to spend one power and do the same thing. We're going to scry again, and we're choosing item. Oh, the magic lamp. That's exactly what we were looking for. Actually, we need... Uh, the scarab also, but at least we have the lamp. So let's see what the lamp says. Well, we drew this one first, so let's see what that one says. So the scimitar is an item, uh, costs zero to play, and it says attach scimitar to an ally, that ally gets plus one strength. And uh, we also got the magic lamp. Costs four to play, it's an item. Magic lamp may only be played to the Cave of Wonders. Uh, when Magic Lamp is played, find Genie and play him to the Cave of, of Wonders. So, but I can't unlock the Cave of Wonders until I get the Scarab, and I'll show you that here. So, uh, uh, the Scarab Pendant. So, here, let me make sure that's in frame. So, uh, that's the first step to achieving victory when you play the Scarab Pendant. You can unlock the Cave of Wonders by removing the Lock Token. The Lock Token. Um, from the location. Alright. So we still need that scarab before we can do, uh, before we can play the magic lamp. So, uh, we play two cards. We have nothing to activate. So we'll end the turn there and, uh, see if we get faded. Four, we get faded. So, Crushing Blow, it's an effect. Uh, discard an ally with a strength of three or less from Jafar's realm. So, there are no allies uh, on the board for this to affect, so that gets discarded. Abu, uh, when Abu is uh, played, choose an item at his location and attach it to him. Jafar cannot use the item. When Abu is defeated, the item is returned to Jafar at the same location. So, uh, why don't we play that here? Uh, there are no items for Abu to take, uh, he, so he just gets played. Move down around 19, uh, and we can draw. We have four cards. Yes, yeah, so we can't draw anything. So, <clears throat> and I played Abu there because I think that's going to be the worst spot for him to go because it'll remove our only other place we can get power from until we can unlock this location. Uh, 
so I'll, I'm going to go here though anyways because I need to get, uh, get rid of cards so I can draw that uh, scarab pendant out of here. So um, what we're going to do though, we'll discard this, uh, we'll play oops, uh, the palace guard here, and um, that's all we're going to do for now. I, we'll get rid of the scimitar. Okay. So let's see if we get faded. A three, we get faded. The Sultan, palace guards cannot be used to defeat Sultan. Uh, and Genie, Genie gets plus two strength if uh, magic lamp is at his, <coughs> excuse me, if magic lamp is at his location. Hmm. Probably they wouldn't play Genie because that's one part of our win condition. So what they would, uh, the uh, imaginary opponent would probably do is play the Sultan. Uh, probably play him here. Okay. Uh, so that's it. We move down to round 18. We can draw uh, three cards. One, two, three. And what did we get? So we have a palace guard, uh, sorceress power, uh, which costs two to play. Uh, move a hero to any unlocked location, move an ally to any unlocked location. Okay. Uh, another palace guard. So we have two palace guards. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is go here and we'll do the vanquish action to vanquish Abu. Um, by using that palace guard. We can't play any cards at this location anymore because the Sultan's blocking it. Uh, so, and we can't defeat the Sultan with these palace guards. So we can't do anything else. Uh, so in solo mode, I treat the fate symbol as uh, reducing my chances of being faded by half. So instead of being faded on a 1, 2, 3, or 4, if I'm at a location with the fate symbol, I will only fate myself on a 1 or 2. So let's see if we get faded. And a, a 1. So uh, we will get faded again. Getting faded like, well, we're getting faded a lot so far. Uh, Raja, uh, when Raja gets plus two, uh, Raja gets plus two strength if uh, Prince uh, Princess Jasmine is in Jafar's realm, and he has four to begin with. So let's see what the other one is. Carpet, uh, Jafar must be, uh, defeat Carpet before defeating other heroes. Um, I mean, I think I would end up doing that anyways, uh, so I think this one would be worse for us just because he's so much stronger and he has a potential to get even more strong. So, uh, we'll end that there. Uh, we have four cards, so we can't draw any, so we'll move down around 17. And, uh, we're gonna go, uh, here. Uh, we're going to collect three power. <clears throat> and we're gonna spend two power. To play two cards because we can play two while we're at that location and we're going to play p both of these palace guards to the streets of Agrabah and uh, that's all we're going to do for now uh, so let's see if we get faded uh, eight we do not move down around 16 we can draw two cards to get back up to four and what did we get so we got scrying uh, choose either, oh yeah, we got, we read that one, oh, the, the Scarab Pendant, okay, that's exactly what we needed to get the ball rolling, so it's an item, cost three to play, Scarab Pendant, when Scarab Pendant is played, unlock the Cave of Wonders, uh, when you draw cards at the end of each turn, draw one extra card, so our hand limit basically becomes five while this is out, so, um, we're gonna go here, uh, and we're going to use the fate uh, or the vanquish action to use both of these guards to add up to four strength total to defeat Raja that has four strength as well. So defeat Raja. Uh, can't do anything else uh, because our actions are blocked, but we will reduce the chance of being faded. A uh, four, so we do not get faded because we're at a place with that symbol. Move down around 15. Uh, we can't draw any cards. Uh, we're going to move back to the Oasis. We're going to draw or get uh, gain three power. We're going to play three power uh, to play the Scare Pendant to unlock the Cave of Wonders. 
<clears throat> and uh, we can place something else. Um, but we're not going to. We'll hold on to everything else. Okay. So now uh, let's see if we get faded. Uh, 10, we do not. Move down around 14. We can draw one car or two cards now because our hand limit is 5 because of the Scarab Pendant. So we got uh, Necessary Sacrifice. Uh, it's an effect card, costs 0 to play. Uh, discard an ally or item from your realm, gain 3 power. And then we have the Scimitar. Okay. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll go here, I'm going to gain one power, I'm going to, um, hmm, I'm going to discard this card, um, I'm going to discard... Oh man. You know what? I'm going to play this card, Scrying, for one power. And I'm going to choose Ally this time. Oh, I needed that. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I needed that Hypnotize, though. Oh well. So, um,. So we played a card, we discarded, we're going to keep everything else. Uh, we already gained one power, so now we'll just uh, reduce the chance of being faded. Uh, eight, we do not get faded. Move down around 13, draw how much? Uh, we can draw one card because of the Scarab Pendant. Another Scimitar, okay. Let's go here, gain three power. Is that so? Yeah. So we have four now. Um, do we want to play that already? The. So we'll we'll go ahead and play the lamp for four power. And. Um, Uh, we can do this, but we don't want to right now, so let's just hold on to everything else, uh, and let's see if we get faded. Uh, nine, we do not. Move down around twelve. We can draw one card to get up to five. What did we get? Our, a giant hourglass. That's not bad. Okay. Let's go here. We'll gain two power. Oh, wait. We can't do that. Hang on. We didn't do this. Um, yeah, so we have to find Genie and play him there. So be, so we might not move there then if, in this case. So let's find Genie. Genie goes here. Uh, because he's at the same location as the lamp, he's going to get plus two strength. Okay. All right. Now we're at legal game state. <laughs> let's uh, see what we want to do. So because Genie's there, we're not going to go there. Because he's blocking up our power. So we're going to go here. Gain one power. Um, let's spend that one power. And we're going to put Iago uh, there. And um, that is it for that turn. I can discard. I'll discard a scimitar. Um... Should I discard both? You know what? I'm going to discard all of these. Because I'm not, not a big fan of that hand. So let's uh, let's hopefully get something better. Alright, so let's uh, we're going to reduce the chance of being faded. Four, so we do not. Because we only get faded on a one or two when we're at that location. Uh, go down around eleven. Draw five cards. Okay. 
Oh, come on. Okay, we have that at least. So, uh, and actually, I don't even think I read this before, so let me read these. So, giant hourglass co uh, item costs one to play. Uh, heroes at this location get negative two strength until the end of the turn, and I have to activate that in order to use that ability. And the activate symbol is at that location. Um, Razul. Uh, is an ally, cost 3 to play, has 3 strength, and the cost to play allies at Razul's location is reduced by 1 power. Uh, Snake Staff, pay 1 power to activate it, and search your discard pile for Hypnotize and put it into your uh, hand. So I'll probably end up needing to use that. During their turn, if another player has 2 or more items in their realm, you may play Deception. Reveal and play 1 card from that player's Fate deck. Even though... I, uh, so I can... What was I going to... I think I... Okay, because I... I've made a rule where if, if I have a condition card that targets another player's fate deck, I can use it to target my own fate deck and basically negate a f uh, being faded. Um, but we'll see. So, during their turn, if another player has three or more allies in their realm, you may play manipulation. Take any card from your discard pile and put it into your hand. And then we're back to the hourglass. Okay. So what are we going to play? So where are we right now? So we're there. Let's go here. We're going to gain three power. Um, we're going to spend one power to activate uh, Iago and to move Iago. And I don't know if I wrote this. Uh, so Iago, uh, I can pay one power to move Iago in an item at his location to an adjacent unlocked location. So I'm using his ability to move the lamp one step over here. Um, so I can play two cards still, but I don't have much power to do so. But I think we're going to have to. So we're going to spend two power. We're going to play uh, Snake Staff. And we'll play it. It doesn't really matter where we play. We'll just play it there. Um, anything else that I want to do? Well, I can't really do. I don't have any power to do anything else. Um, so we have two or more items. So we can use this if we want uh, to. We'll say we can negate one uh, of the fate cards if we get faded. So let's just keep that up like that. Let's see if we get faded. A seven, we do not. Move down around ten. Uh, can we draw anything? We can draw one card to get back up to five. Necessary sacrifice. You know, I'm getting pretty desperate right now because we're at the halftime mark. So, uh, and we need power to hypnotize the genie. So, I think we're going to have to. Uh, use this um, so why don't we go here we're gonna discard manipulation we're gonna discard deception and we're gonna discard giant hourglass um, hmm. uh, you know what we're gonna discard necessary we're gonna we're gonna play necessary sacrifice to discard the Scarab Pendant and uh, gain three power. And we're going to gain one power for just being at that location. So we have four. Okay. Okay, so we just have one card in our hand now. We're going to uh, reduce the chance of being faded. Three, so we do not get faded because we only get faded on a one or two at these locations. So that's good. Move down around nine. Uh, nine draw three cards to get back up to four because we no longer have the scarab pendant okay <clears throat> all right so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna gain three power i'm gonna spend one power to play the to activate the snake staff to search my discard pile for Hypnotize and put it into my hand. Here we go. Okay. So I can still play 
two cards if I want. Hmm. So I can still, okay, I still have that. Um, okay. So I guess we'll, we'll end that turn there. Um, and there's no maximum hand size. So I have five now because I got that in my hand. I'm not going to play any cards, to, uh, so I'm not going to get rid of any cards either. So, um, yeah, so that, so that, and I didn't read Hypnotize. Let me read that so that you know what it does. So Hypnotize is an effect card, it, uh, and it costs, uh, depending, the, the, what it costs depends on uh, the effect. So let's read the effect. Hypnotize. Uh, defeat a hero and move them to the bottom of your board. That hero is under your control and is treated as an ally with the same strength. Ignore their ability. The cost to play Hypnotize is equal to the hero's strength. So I want to hypnotize the genie to get him on my side and control him. He can be anywhere. I just have to, at the same time, have um, the lamp at the Sultan's Palace. Uh, so it's going to cost uh, six uh, uh, power to hypnotize the genie. Okay. So let's... Uh, so now let's, let's uh, see if we get faded. A 10, we do not. Move down round 8. Uh, we have 5 cards in our hand, so we can't draw any. Um, let's see. So how many do I have here? I have, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have, I have enough to hypnotize Genie. And... It looks like I don't even have to be at the same location as him, but I'm going to anyways. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to uh, play Hypnotize, which will cost me six because Genie has six strength. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So Genie is now under my control. Uh, these immediately become available, so I'm going to gain two power. Uh, yeah, I did not do that. But, you know, I'm going to discard that. Uh, anything else I want to discard? No, but I will move the lamp uh, over here. Okay. So we're on our way. Um... And what's underneath him? Okay. All right. So we're almost there. Almost at the win. So we'll hold on to everything else. Um, actually, do we need? We don't really need that. Let's get rid of that. So we'll hold on to these two. All right. Uh, let's see if we get. Oops. Uh oh. Uh, that went pretty far. So I'm just gonna roll a different ten-sided die that I have. Okay, we're going to roll this one. It's still 10-sided die. They just have zeros uh, next to the numbers. So that's a 5. We do not get faded. Right? Is that a 5? Because where's the 20? Yeah, 20 is on that side. So that's a 5. So we do not get faded. Uh, we move down to round 7. Draw 2 cards. So we got uh, Razim. Uh, Razim. When Razim is discarded from your realm, you may search your discard pile for an item and put it into your hand. He's an ally, costs two to play, it has two strength. Then I have another of that snake thing. Okay. Okay, great. So let's. Uh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna get uh, three power. And um, we're going to play, uh, we're going to play, I think we're going to play uh, Razul, so for three. 
uh, here. And then we're also going to move Iago over here. Okay. And uh, we, that's all we can't do anymore. Uh, okay, so let's uh, see if we get faded. A6, we do not. Move down round to round six. Uh, can we draw anything? We draw one card, so we have to shuffle our deck. Yeah, good thing about having the sleeves on the card is it makes uh, shuffling them a lot easier. Okay, draw one. And what is that one? Oh, the pendant again. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Don't really need that now. So uh, now we'll go here. We're going to move the lamp. And... <clears throat> Uh, let's see, is there anything else that we want to do? Well, well, we can get two power. Uh, we're going to play for two power. We'll play Razim. <clears throat> and we're going to hold on to everything else. Okay, <clears throat> so we are at our win condition because all we got to do now is start our turn with the magic lamp at the Sultan's Palace and the genie under our control. Uh, so we have the genie under our control. We have the magic lamp at the Sultan's Palace. Uh, so all we need to do is start our turn and win. So normally uh, we would roll this to fade art to see if we get faded. But as is tradition on this channel, we do not roll this uh, fate die. Uh, if we know we're right about to win, we just automatically fade ourselves. So let's see if anything would prevent us from winning. So uh, attach a wi so wish. It's an item. Uh, attach a wish to a hero. That hero gets plus two strength. That would not uh, prevent us from winning, even if we played it on Sultan. And treachery. Jafar loses two power. So even if we played that, that would not prevent us from winning. Even if we played both of them, we move down to round five. We would draw one card. Doesn't matter what. And that is it. We have started <clears throat> our turn with the magic lamp at the Sultan's Palace, and the genie under our control. Uh, so there you have it. We have one as Jafar. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this playthrough. And uh, now it is time to recite the litany of the meme. The night is dark and full of terrors, but I know that we will live long and prosper, for the force will be with us always against the forces of he who must not be named, as we remember to keep it secret, keep it safe, until the day we assemble. In the name of Muad'Dib, so say we all!